Hello and welcome to Tyrannus Gaming. Today we'll be taking a closer look at Saren, and for the one person in the world that does not know how to use her, I will be helping you. Now let's discuss Saren's spores. In a nutshell, if you cast spores on a target, it will continuously damage them until they die. There is no time limit, there is no upper damage cap, and it will effectively kill literally anything you attach it to. If you attack a spore, it will explode and deal damage to everything around it, like so. As you can see, the Grenier unit's armor is going down. That is a shield icon. That is because of the corrosive procs. As you can see, it's trapped between 3 and 5. Let's change that. by attacking other spores. Now his armor is drastically reduced, and they will all be taking damage. Let's get some distance before their screams, yells, shouts, and dialogue cause me to go insane listening to them. As you can see on the right side, we have 20 infected rather than just one, because the goal of spores is not to tag one target and kill him immediately. The goal is to tag one target spread the spores, and leave the room. Rinse and repeat, and you'll kill everything far faster. However, if your spores are being outstripped by everything else, and everything is dying before your spores can spread, this is a good thing because it means that your enemy is not that hard. As you can see, everything is dying. Now while the Grenier back there are going to die immediately, the Corpus, on the other hand, have shield regeneration. To those of you that don't know, Corpus shield regeneration can be halted by simply using magnetic damage. It'll also have the added benefit of causing 325% extra damage to shields, but if you have Saren, her spores will nullify the crewman shield regeneration. It does not matter how fast they regenerate, because eventually her spores will overtake the shield regeneration and kill the Corpus crewmen. And as you can hear by their dialogue, it means they're screaming in terror and that they know their doom is inevitable. And that is why Saren spores are why people confused her miasma when they scream press 4 to win. It's not the miasma doing that, it's the spores. Now, let's discuss Saren's Molt. Her Molt ability will stay exactly where you place it, no matter where you place it, and it has the added benefit of causing toxic damage to everything around you the moment you use it. And when its duration expires, it will explode, doing toxin damage, bypassing shields, dealing damage directly. And if you find yourself in the unfortunate situation where you're surrounded by corpus and have no idea what to do, you simply need to spam it. And as you can see, it deals immediate damage in the area, allowing you to survive a bit longer. Saren's Molt also has the added benefit that if you're affected by status effects, such as bleed, electrification, heat, or toxin, it will shed those and reset them. And therefore, you do not have to worry about taking damage over time. Saren's Molt also adds much quicker sprint speed. As you can see, it makes her far quicker. And, because her Molt acts like a taunting effect and forces the enemy to shoot it instead of you, it has the benefit that Saren is specifically designed to run from the Infested and the Corpus. You simply need to activate Molt, and then run like hell. 
This will not only make her far faster. Simply activating Molt will allow you to burst it in the faces of enemies such as the Corpus or the Infested, dealing massive amounts of poison damage to them, while simultaneously making it so you create a decoy that the enemy will attack, and if they kill it, will explode a second time, and it'll strip away all status effects built upon you, giving Saren the unique ability of being able to intentionally run from the enemy. Or, as the Marine Corps likes to say, advancing in the other direction. Now let's discuss Saren's number 3 ability, Toxic Lash. For a some people, it is incredibly misunderstood. If you, you don't utilize Toxic Lash, this is the effect you get. As you can see, it simply makes him yell at you and mock you for your stupidity. But if you use Toxic Lash, he won't be laughing anymore. And that is how you make sure he doesn't make it to retirement. Now, some people aren't aware that Toxic Lash has an additional effect. It is doubled on melee weapons. This is what that will look like. As you can see, some people need a little extra help going to sleep. Now let's go ahead and build up our combo bonus, and I'll show you something rather fascinating. As you can see, it's currently at six times. Now let's go ahead and utilize Toxic Lash. And this is why that's important. As you can see, with a single hit, we were able to basically kill the screwman in a single hit. Now you may be thinking, hey Tyrannus, your weapon attacks seem to be rather dull, and I will tell you why after we are done with this. Now let's move on to Miasma. Miasma, when it explodes, looks like this. As you can tell, it does viral damage. During its duration, it will continuously allow any damage done to be viral. I'm kidding, this ability is not that good. However, the press 4 to wing crowd would say that Saren's Miasma is insanely overpowered. And I will tell you, this has not been true for a very long time. However, we can still make it incredibly overpowered but this will require a bit of finessing. This is the damage we do to a Corrupted Crewman without any of the abilities. As you can see, it does do a decent amount of damage to his shields, but as he is a Crewman, his shields will regenerate at a rapid pace. If we utilize Miasma by itself, as you can see, it does literally nothing to him. So let's combine the effects of Toxic Lash with Miasma. First, this is with Toxic Lash. That took effectively 23 hits. I'm bad at math, so sue me. As you can see, it killed him in 11 hits instead of 23. And we have the added benefit of damn near killing the guy standing behind him, unfortunately.
Now, if we combine all these abilities all at once, this is what that might look like. Now, I know what you're thinking, but hey, Tyrannus, that took you forever to kill them. Well, I'm going to tell you that there is a reason why it took me damn near forever, in Warframe time, to kill all of them. This is the Saren we were using. This is the Nadaruk we were using. And this is the Skiajati we were using. If I was to use a fully maxed out version of these, This is what a Nodrick by itself and Toxic Lash would do. Note that everything is now dead. And with Spores and Miasma mixed, is what Saren would do. I promise you, it is a skill issue. I hope you learned something new today, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.